Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today, well, there's a shocking update on the Chrome Edit This Cookies malware. I, I don't mean that a clickbait way, I just mean, wow. So it turns out that our malware developers did, didn't exactly have a grade A security, to say the least. So now what we have here is from the outside looking in, this looks like a Chinese ad platform. And that's what I initially thought this was. So these are the so-called advertisement links. And what this actually is under the hood, it seems to be a botting system. Now, the most interesting part, because unfortunately this extension is illegally collecting meaningful personal information from victims, and I am not going to show any of that, uh, nor will I show this URL. Um, I imagine maybe this video will prompt them to take it down, which I actually hope they do, because uh, the data they are illegally collecting from people is being shown to a lot more people, which is not good. This endpoint, I think, is perfectly safe to show, given uh, this is purely the names of the scam extensions they have been running. So, some of these have domains, some of them don't. Now, these don't appear to be explicitly targeting the international market, because some of these are clearly Chinese extensions, so it seems like they're also uh, going after a uh, home. Now, this doesn't look to be the problem extension, so that one may also be down. Most of these are down. Let's see if this one's still up. Now, let's try this one out and just see if it happens to have the same functionality. Okay, go to our extensions. Also, you may see that I have uh, two other controversial extensions installed honey and pie. I was just testing those out. I honestly, I'm not going to make a video on it. Other people have pretty much said everything. I don't think it's that interesting of a story. So, okay, but we can just go here. This is the one we're interested in. Now, really what I'm after is the ID. Because then we can get into the code and we can see, okay, what's really going on here? This is BML1. Okay. All right. I was getting the wrong one. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, that was honey. We were looking. Okay. Here's the, here's the one we're after. Oh, and it looks kind of like the other one did. And boom, it is by the same people. It's got the same thing going on. So here is another one in the ring. So we got fake name generator. Now this one says it's TikTok. This could actually be, it's possible they use this backend for uh, legitimate work. Uh, then there was webbooster.online. Now this one has also been terminated from the Chrome store, luckily. Now, I don't understand why they can't, once there's like a known C2 server, all it would take is a regex to get rid of everything that's going to this site. Functionally, extensions are a security nightmare. I mean, there was just this story, and we'll find that. There was just this story this morning about a cybersecurity firm whose extensions were supply chain attacked and turned into malware. There's a big problem here. I understand why people are critical of Manifest V3, but the reality is it actually doesn't go far enough. We need need to do more to rein in on dodgy extensions. Now, this is another one. It's called Wall Sport. And once again, this is targeting the local market. So it's not, it's not this situation where it's state sponsored or it's the government doing this. It's just, uh, it's just individuals doing this. And this is Wall Sport. Now, this has only got 11 users, but this is another one by the same people. And one of the other patterns is the fake reviews. And they, they have a similar pattern. And, and they're also all uh, Chinese names, even when the extension is clearly not targeted at China. Now, this is another one uh, that's another scam extension that's purely targeted at the Chinese market. Now, what's interesting is they have all of these fake addresses, and one of them even had a European Union trader information, which would require some setup if they didn't just steal someone's information. There's also a privacy policy here. And let's see what's mentioned. So this Roy Best PTE seems to come up quite a bit. I saw that on another one. They pioneer an Android progressive web apps too, and they will store the data within China. They won't store it elsewhere. So let's just install this extension and validate that it does the same thing that the other ones did. This one actually has multiple main.typescript files. Let's see if it's in this one. This one actually seems to have different code. So ultimately, the question then becomes, so what is the scheme here? Well, there's a couple things going on, but it seems like, and the biggest concern, 
I have with this setup is the amount of data they are collecting, which seems to include every single website you visit, your IP address, and your user ID with this ad network. That information basically means if you have any of these installed, especially given these guys have failed to secure their API, your browser history is public. If someone knows your IP address, they can see your browser history, which is utterly insane. Now, it is just the domains you connected to, but it's ridiculous. So that's problem number one. But you may be thinking, okay, but where where is the money? Why does this exist? What's going on? The answer to the question is almost certainly to do with social media botting. So what they're doing is they're creating, seems like they're mostly doing Facebook, but they're opening pages. They'll open a Facebook page and they will like it using your account. Now this is a problem that's been going around on social networks. I've seen it on the YouTube help form uh, where people ask for help with their YouTube account. Uh, I'll see people um, and another product expert I know named Andrew has really been putting in a lot of work on this. These people uh, are posting about unexpected videos in their watch history, things they're not watching. What seems to be happening is some extensions are being used as a discrete way of allowing these metrics. Now we can go back. I'm just going to the extensions page. It's not this. We can see here these extensions are being used to inflate metrics and potentially collect user data. This, I think, is also supposed to be a calendar. So they're clearly they're taking advantage of people with these extensions, some of which are useful because they're borrowing code from extensions that were either taken down or went unmaintained. Like for example, the edit this cookie, which is rebranded uh, since I posted the last video, it's no longer edit this cookies, it's now edit this cookie uh, R as in registered trademark. Because Google took down the original, I don't actually know why. And the fake one has since rebranded to this. Someone did point out this is spyware. And yeah, it is the same extension. So Google did not terminate this. They simply renamed it. And right now, if you have this installed, uh, your browser history is going to overseas servers and the public internet. Now, given that we know from the fact they rebranded, they watch my videos, all I am asking to the people running this scam, well, in addition to stopping it, is please fix your API endpoint. You are making this even worse than it otherwise has to be. So that's going to be all for me for now. Just wanted to give an update and show some of the inner workings of this scam. Bye!